I have learned enough, I've learned enough skills to then be able to keep improving my skill. Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to an official series for, I guess, vlogs that I'm making. And I'm gonna call it Vlogs of a Small YouTuber. That's really what it is, and then when I'm at like 10,000 subscribers, then it'll be Vlogs of a Medium YouTuber. That's pretty much what I'll do. And this is kind of a series that I want to make that, um, basically, in case I get really successful, you know, you guys have a reference point to look at, because, um, a lot of people that I know could have really benefited if Steve Jobs vlogged his life. I mean, could you imagine if Steve Jobs vlogged his life? I'm not saying I'm going to be the next Steve Jobs, but I just want to vlog my life. And now with that being said, this is the first episode, and I want to talk about something that has plagued me ever since I started my channel. And that is thumbnails. The YouTube thumbnails have been, like, you know how when you order some, like, food, and you like every ingredient on that hamburger but one, but you want to eat that one, but you can't? I know that's a horrible analogy, but that is thumbnails for me. Thumbnails have been, like, my mortal enemy for this channel for the past however long I've been doing it. It was like two years, two and a half years almost. And... It's crazy the phases I've gone through. You know, I started uploading videos like any new YouTuber who hadn't studied YouTube, I didn't use custom thumbnails. I didn't see a need to. I mean, except I like slapped the game title on the front, right? I did. And then like I used the preloaded thumbnails that YouTube was like, hey, this looks cool. And I'm like, hey, that looks cool too. Let me go use that one. That that's what I did for my thumbnails. And for some reason I was like immune to hey, you got bad thumbnails, it doesn't matter, people are gonna watch your stuff anyways. Like, the first video I uploaded, granted I kept looking at it, I believe 20 of the views were me just clicking on it on accident, um, but 30 views for a KSP episode 1 without a custom thumbnail, that's pretty good, on YouTube, and I didn't even tag it or anything, right? And then I was like, I made a video about why I don't use custom thumbnails, and this was a video I think was made out of... I was lazy and I needed a reason to justify it. And I said it's, um, I did that because, you know, I didn't want to clickbait people. But then I, I thought about it after I uploaded that video and I was like, you know what, Jared, don't be an idiot. You know you're just not making custom thumbnails because you're lazy and you don't know how to. So a couple of my thumbnails I used MS Paint for, you know, like whenever I did a series, that's the only time I used custom thumbnails. And I would just slap a picture down and put a number on it. That's it. Which. I guess that's kind of good, I mean, for a custom thumbnail, but then what happened was, I believe my, the spring quarter, um, because I also started my YouTube channel, did a summer, and then I was in uh, junior year, my spring quarter of junior year, or freshman, college, whatever, anyways, spring of 2016, that's what I was looking for, I took a Photoshop class, and I learned how to use Photoshop and I told myself, you know what, I'm going to be the best at this class, I'm going to start making custom thumbnails. And I did. I started making custom thumbnails and they were very basic, you know. I pretty much just took pictures and made fancy text on them. And th I did eventually get to the part in the Photoshop book where it showed me how to manipulate text and I was like, okay, uh, my thumbnails are going to ride on how fancy my text looks. and. I mean, it's better than when I started on MS Paint, but nowhere near anything that I wanted it to be. And I just hated making custom thumbnails. I finally learned how to cut stuff out, but like, I have this problem whenever I make a picture and I have this idea in my head of what I want, right? Like I could be like, I want this camera and the blurry background and then some super cool text. I know exactly how big the text is, how, what the filters are on it, and everything like that. And it's like, I can make a video called How to Use a Camera, and that's the, the thing, right? Camera, and then it's all blurry in the background. And what could, would come out of it is like, a background that I found of colors and stuff, and like a cartoon camera image and some crappy text. And it was because I was too lazy with my thumbnails and I didn't want to take the time to learn 
how to make them properly. I didn't understand how valuable they were. Until... January... Or no, it was, I think it was December. I made a video called, What is... What are shortcut kits in Battlefield 1? It was almost a year after I took my Photoshop class. About six, seven months. And it did really well. And it still does well today. Like pretty much one to two thousand views a month and it's been doing that and it's all because of the thumbnail and I can tell it's because of the thumbnail and the tags because the thumbnail beat out all the other thumbnails I was like okay I need to learn how to make thumbnails correctly and then it became the arduous process I for about from then I would say up until about May maybe even June I would sit there and just make a thumbnail, is it good or not? And then I'd be like, yes or no, and then post it. I never fixed my thumbnails because I didn't know how to manipulate them, but I tried my best the first time, every single time. And then the summer hit, and I was just like, well, I have a format for everything, I might as well just copy paste it. Not okay. And then, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about October, November of this year. So. Pretty much like 30 days before this video is uploaded, I started really making thumbnails. I mean, I would spend maybe 10 minutes on a thumbnail, and now I'm spending a minimum of 30 to an hour. Maybe if I pre-plan my idea, I'm getting good at that. I pre-plan my idea, I maybe can do it in 15 minutes. Okay, but now, like, I can show you guys a picture of my thumbnails at the at the end of last year compared to this year there is a very big difference and I save the files and I can manipulate them and I don't know why but artistically like as in art as in like pictures making a picture I, I suck at it so bad because it does not process correctly right and YouTube there's like many different skills you need right videography Editing, on-camera presence, storytelling, business savvy, distribution, SEO writing, and thumbnail making, aka billboard making, is one of those skills. And that is a skill that it took two years in the making, but I learned how important that skill is. Because of my thumbnails now, my videos, I noticed, I changed up my thumbnails, my videos, like... 400% more views at least per video maybe like a bad video now is what a good like is what a good video used to be for me and this is two weeks ago okay because I, I really I had a bunch of videos all pre-planned and after that I started making my good thumbnails right and it's insane how much a good thumbnail is and how much it how long it took me also it is insane how long it took me to learn this but this is one of the last skills that I've needed to learn because now I have learned enough I've learned enough skills to then be able to keep improving my skills so I really don't need to learn more about thumbnails because I'll do it on my own and it's just been this insane journey, and this is a point, this is a turning point in my, I think, my ability to look at my YouTube channel, and I, I now see a potential to grow it. Before, I'm like, eh, my, my channel might grow if I do something. Now, it's like, it will grow. I just gotta put in the work, and I have the skills to do it. So, I'm gonna end this video right here. What do you guys think? Are Have you guys stuck around and saw the improvement of my thumbnails? Have you improved your own thumbnails? Do you like that I'm documenting my life as a YouTuber? You can share all that in the comments below, but that's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games and making thumbnails. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog. Whatever I decide to make.